Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah 41. Now it came to pass in the seventh month that Yishmael, the son of Nathanyahu, the son of Elishama, of the seed royal and the princes of the king, even ten men with him, came unto Gedeliahu, the son of Ahicham, to Mitzpah. And there they did eat bread together in Mitzpah. Then arose Yishmael, the son of Nathanyahu, and the ten men that were with him, and smote at Gedeliahu, the son of Ahicham, the son of Shaphan, with the sword, and slew him, whom the king of Babel had made governor over the land. Yishmael also slew Eth all the Yahudim that were with him, even with Eth Gideliahu at Mitzpah, and Eth the Kazdim that were found there, Eth and the men of war. And it came to pass the second day after he had slain Eth Gideliahu, and no man knew it, that there came certain from Shechem, from Shiloh, and from Shomoron, even fourscore men, having their beards shaven, and their clothes rent, and having cut themselves with offerings and incense in their land, rather hand, to bring them to the house of Yahuwah. And Yishmael, the son of Nathanyahu, went forth from Mitzpah to meet them, weeping all along as he went. And it came to pass, as he met them, he said unto them, Come to Gedaliahu, the son of Achicham. And it was so, when they came into the midst of the city, that Yishmael, the son of Nathanyahu, slew them and cast them into the midst of the pit, he and the men that were with him. But ten men were found among them that said unto Yishmael, <clears throat> Slay us not, for we have treasures in the field of wheat and of barley and of oil and of honey. So he forbear and slew them not among their brethren. Now the pit wherein Yishmael had cast eth all the dead bodies of the men, whom he had slain because of Gideliahu, was it which Acha the king had made for fear of Basha, king of Yashara'el. And Yishmael, the son of Netanyahu, filled it with them that were slain. Then Yishmael carried away captive Eth all the remnant of the people that were in Mitzpah, even Eth the king's daughters, and eth all the people that remained in Mitzpah, whom Nebuzar Adan, the captain of the guard, had committed to eth Gideliahu, the son of Achicham, and Yishmael, the son of Nathanyahu, carried them away captive, and departed to go over to the Amanim. But when Yahu Hanan, the son of Kerich, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, heard of Eth all the evil that Yishmael, the son of Nathanyahu, had done. Then they took Eth all the men and went to fight with Yishmael, the son of Nathanyahu, and found him by the great waters that are in Givan. Now it came to pass that when all the people were, rather, which were with Eth, Yishmael saw Eth Yahuchanan, the son of Karech, and Eth all the captains of the forces that were with him. Then they were glad. So, all the people that Yishmael had carried away captive from Mitzpah cast about and returned, and went unto Yahuchanan, the son of Karech. But Yishmael, the son of Nathanyahu, escaped from Yahuchanan with eight men and went to the Ammonim. Then took Yahuchanan, the son of Karach, 
and all the captains of the forces that were with him, Eth, all the remnant of the people whom he had recovered from Yishmael, the son of Nathanyahu, from Mitzpah, after that he had slain Eth Gideliahu, the son of Ahicham, even mighty men of war, and the women, and the children, and the eunuchs, whom he had brought again from Givon. And they departed, and dwelt in the habitation of Kimham, which is by Beit Lechem, to go to enter into Mitzrayim, because of the Kazdim, for they were afraid of them, because Yishmael, the son of Netanyahu, had slain at Gidel Yahu, the son of Achicham, whom the king of Bebel made governor in the land.